As a manager or coworker of someone with autism spectrum disorder, it can be helpful to have some more information as well as strategies for success in order to ensure a positive work experience for all. Autism spectrum disorder refers to a complex group of neurobiological disorders that typically last throughout a person's lifetime. Each individual with autism will experience their symptoms differently, and those symptoms can affect behavior management, communication, and sensory integration. People with autism often have difficulty regulating their behaviors and managing different situations. They may have organizational needs that are different than your own and may need more structure to succeed. Oftentimes, individuals with autism may require more structure or routine with their environments and settings. They can often display inflexibility in their routine or schedule and experience anxiety if there is change or redirection. It can be helpful to provide visual or verbal tools for clear structure and scheduling and give warnings ahead of time if the structure will be diverted or the schedule will change. People with autism can have a hard time communicating with the people around them. This communication includes verbal communication and speech and nonverbal communication such as body language or recognizing facial expressions. Challenges can arise when needs or preferences are trying to be met but the tools to communicate aren't readily available. Social skills can be challenging for someone with autism, and engaging in a conversation and managing joint attention can be a struggle. It is important to work with the individual in order to engage in a meaningful social interaction. Individuals with autism might also experience sensory integration issues. This means they can experience hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity in different sensory systems. This can either make a person become overstimulated or understimulated more easily than neurotypical people. This is a very individualized trait, and sometimes there needs to be the opportunity for regulation of these sensory systems. For example, if someone has hypersensitivity in their auditory sensory system, they might hear all the noises and voices around them at the same volume, even though they're trying to listen to your conversation. This can be very distracting and sometimes overwhelming. When managing someone with autism, it can be beneficial to use concrete language and avoid being figurative or sarcastic. Do not overcomplicate your language. If someone is not understanding you, it may be beneficial to reflect if there is another way to clearly communicate what you are trying to convey. Avoid asking questions when what you're offering isn't a question. If it's time for everyone to take a break or accomplish a task, don't offer an out or alternative. Use direct language. For example, let's finish our task is more direct and may be found more effective than, are you ready to finish our task? It can be beneficial to offer tools such as time risk to set concrete goals and expectations during the course of the work day. You may also find it beneficial to reward the worker for having a good day at work, even if it's something like a high five or pat on the back. For more information on Autism Inclusion Training for Work programs, please visit www.includeautism.org.